In this Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you the basics of using dynamic nav meshes. Those are nav meshes that could change during the playtime of your game. Now, the first thing you're going to need for dynamic nav meshes is to download something that's not in Unity. You have to get it from the GitHub. It's Unity lookup nav mesh components. And here in GitHub is um, where you could download the nav mesh components. They're in the assets folder, and it's this right here. So I downloaded that, and I have the folder right here, and the contents are this. Okay, so what I did was I drag and drop the whole thing into my project assets window over here. And now I could use the nav mesh components in my project. So the first and the most important nav mesh component is the nav mesh surface. And that I just add to a game object in my scene. And my level object here is the floor. So I added the nav mesh surface by going over here, add component, navigation, nav mesh surface and um, then it has things here that are just like the regular nav mesh of unity and if I wanted to bake the nav mesh you could see it bakes a nav mesh where I want to clear it so I can bake a nav mesh in design time but also the nav mesh which as you can see now is not is not baked will bake at runtime when I press play and the nav mesh will bake at runtime so the command that's baking it at runtime is right here, build nav mesh. What I did was I just put a pointer from my nav mesh surface here to my script. So my script could have a reference to it. And then that's my nav mesh surface dot build nav mesh. So that's great. Um, another thing you saw were that there were walls that came in place in the game. And these walls that come in, they're random. For example, I'm going to press play a couple of times. On the first time, the walls are positioned there, and the nav mesh filled with it. I press play again, and the walls will be in a different spot, and the nav mesh fills to it. So this is um, a dynamic nav mesh being built at runtime. So these blue objects here are these um, modifier objects, and basically these are game objects that have the nav mesh modifier component added to them. And that would be right here in navigation, nav mesh modifier. And what the modifiers do are they um, tell the nav mesh what to build around when I hit this command, build nav mesh. Okay. So if you have a level that's dynamically generated, this is um, a reason to use a dynamic nav mesh. Now there's another type of object. So this is a nav mesh that's working around something, game objects that I place in the scene at runtime, and then the nav mesh is built at runtime to move around them. How about if I have a game object that's moving at runtime or that's positioned at runtime? So that's what I have here, this um, nav mesh obstacle. And that's basically a game object with the nav mesh obstacle component added to it. And the nav mesh obstacle component has um, a property called carve, which is basically saying whether or not to carve out um, that component in the nav mesh when I place it there. And then there's uh, some options under carve like this one carve only stationary so that means like at runtime this game object could be placed in the scene and then it's going to only carve um, when it's stationary but uh, i added a script here i'm going to move my nav mesh um, i'm going to move this obstacle object at a speed of one so then what i have to do here is to say how many times will the nav mesh get rebuilt as this object is moving? Um, basically, I'm going to show you what, what this looks like for the nav mesh obstacle component. 
let me select my level so you can see the nav mesh. So there's my nav mesh in there. And if I left click, my character moves around the scene. If I right click, there you go. That's a nav mesh optical component. As you can see, as it's moving, the nav mesh is recalculating right around the obstacle. Okay. So um, how fast it rebuilds the um, when it's moving, that's what uh, this is, the move threshold. So if I set it to two, that's a higher number. So it has less calculations going on. Let's see when I set it to two. So let me click the level so you can see the nav mesh. So here I go, I'm gonna add it coming in. And now it's only when it moves a distance of two that it recalculates it. So basically the, um, that's how often it recalculates. How far does it have to move for it to recalculate? All right, so um, basically it's that simple using a nav dynamic nav meshes. You get the library from GitHub, you add it to your project, and then you add the different components to your scene. The nav mesh surface component is what builds the nav mesh. And with the nav mesh surface component, you could build a nav mesh at runtime. Then you can make special objects in your scene, like modifiers, which will have the nav mesh be built around the modifier, bake. And you could have other special objects called obstacles, which when I add them to the scene, I do not even have to do a bake the nav mesh calculates around them automatically. Hopefully you can find ways to use this. I could already think of doing platformers or something like that in 3D. Um, there you go.